Hello guys, how are you? Today we are going to be discussing uh, the pharmacy management system. Uh, this system uh, basically was designed in Java, uh, Swing, uh, and we have used Jasper reporting uh, for uh, report. So you can be able to print normal reports on printer. So or either you can uh, print report on thermal printer. So uh, I will show you the demo. Uh, uh, okay. Once uh, you run the project, uh, it will ask for the username and password. Uh, once you have uh, entered the username and password, uh, then you uh, redirect to redirect to, to the dashboard page. This is the dashboard page, uh, which we have found some tool tip buttons, uh, shop, user, company, medicine, sales in order and report. Uh, shop info, uh, there is a, no, a name of the shop. Uh, this software is especially a uh, shop uh, who has pharmacy. So they can be able to use that. Uh, so you, you put the name of the pharmacy and the address and uh, their phone number, right? And then press save. For the user section, uh, they are the users that you can be able to search. So you can search the user uh, through and you can click, then user information is added. So you can uh, change the user information. And if you want to add the user, then press the clear button and enter test user one contact. For example, this is contact number and test user one and password is one two three four five six so uh, once you save and set it successfully you can see this is test user has been added or uh, you can make the changes accordingly whatever you want so it is updated successfully this is how you can add the user company as you know uh, we have a medicine section so every medicine is belong to the company right so first we take a look at the medicine section so uh, you, you you will see there are a lot of the medicines uh, data has been already added so you can uh, click for example you can search for example for example if you want clicking so you can see that uh, there is a formulation uh, either it is a drop or cream or injection or whatever the uh, thing is so you can select it the name of the medicine and the code uh, the unique of the code the formula what is the formula strength one stripe on one stripe how much uh, tablets are over there so you can set the stripe how many mainly uh, uh, in one box we would have multiple of the stripes so you can be able to set one stripe two stripe three stripe pack size what is the package size and uh, normally one packet one uh, in one stripe so it's all depend whatever the data you have entered how many uh, stock you have to total packs how many packs you have and what is the pack price okay so for example uh, normally uh, the pack price is basically uh, is a price uh, which is written onto the box so if someone is asking for one tablet or 10 tablets so we definitely has to be calculate the uh, one tablet price and then has to be multiply uh, to the 10 or whatever the quantity he wanted so in this uh, uh, section we actually need to be calculate uh, set the pack size pack unit price and uh, the company which uh, the company is owned for okay and then item quantity so item quantity means uh, how many tablets uh, in that uh, particular pack right so it is one quantity it's mean one tablet is equal to 155 let's take a look at because it's a cream so let's take a look at uh, the tablet for example this is the uh, for example the tablet uh, terbidem 4 okay this is a price and this is a strength and this is one stripe uh, we have 10 tablets uh, and 10 pack size and two packs we have a uh, data and one pack size for pack unit price 490 so it's been uh, 10 tablets price is 490 right it mean uh, if we set zero 
it's been uh, every template is for uh, 49 rupees okay so if you want to give any discount okay so if you want to make the changes into the pack size so you can make the changes 500 for example or you want to set it 490 so tablet price is 49 so if you want to uh, give one percent discount so you can click it so system will automatically calculate the discount values and the price after the discount or for example if you are giving five percent so you can see that the changes has been made so you can uh, if you do not want to give the uh, discount so set it to zero otherwise you can set whatever the uh, price is so uh, i am copying this uh, this uh, tablet name uh, and then leave it at eight percent right so the price is 45 but actual price was 49 so you can make the changes click and then save uh, and then similarly the company you can search the company uh, you can click and add it and now the sale order the sale order screen uh, uh, this is a tablet that we actually want to order so if we can, can click it then it, it is showing the unit price is 49 but uh, the price after the discount is 45 so as you can see the price uh, we are giving uh, some discount which was at eight percent so the discount price is also showing the current price unit price and the price after the discount so you can make the changes uh, uh, for example if you want to add uh, the plus or minus so automatically discounts and other things will be calculated so this is uh, 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 for example and uh, if you want to add more tablet for example i'm asking for 10 this and i'm asking this for uh, six tablets and uh, and uh, the, i'm asking for uh, 20 tablets so uh, automatically everything is calculated uh, because we already have set this data so and you can see uh, everything the expiry and other details okay uh, stock is not being maintaining it over there uh, but later on we will be add the stock feature if it is stock showing zero then definitely product will not be added accordingly but it is not uh, working uh, uh, as uh, now okay so uh, we have done uh, with the four items and now we are going to uh, add the uh, and it is showing the total 993 but uh, we have giving you some discount which is the 79 rupees uh, as you can uh, check that but uh, 950 right so we have the collect the amount from the customer or thank you for shopping whatever the thank you so it, it, this is a basically a comment section and uh, uh, we do not need it for it so so as you can see the invoice number has already been new generated 728 so once we click that the, it is showing the data has been saved and then it shows the print preview right so this is a thermal printer uh, setting and uh, you just need to be set uh, uh, press the pr uh, uh, print button so as you can see uh, we have items four items uh, what are their, their quantities their discounts their total price uh, what was the total what was the bill and you have saved means this is the discount price and whatever the price you actually has paid so this is how uh, the thermal printer uh, is uh, you can just click and and you can see that so this is the uh, print view okay and you go to the report section and then you have a uh, two dates you can search it so you can see how many orders has been uh, processed uh, this is also a thermal uh, this is not the thermal uh, this is a big print so you can be able to take the print onto the big printer okay so 728 was the last order so you can uh, 728 or whatever the uh, number you want so you click it so you can see uh, the receipt also showing it over there so 720 let's suppose uh, 727 which was the last order and then if you click it so you can see that that was the last order so uh, and which time and which order number and uh, all the things are displaying here so you can uh, uh, play around with these reports and both reports are showing uh, uh, accordingly 
and then we have another other report which is expiry report so uh, uh, the, the days left for example the 30 days left how many uh, products need to be updated so you can see uh, expiry has been uh, set wrong or has been expired so you can be able to make the changes accordingly uh, otherwise uh, you will be in uh, loss so as you can see we have a lot of the uh, uh, lot of the pages so uh, for example you can see the first June 20 so it is 24 days left so uh, if you can maintain the uh, uh, expiry then uh, you would be able to you know see the results okay so and most sale items uh, what is the most sale items the most sale items are uh, you can see the how many items are being sold frequently so thank you thank you guys if you have any questions uh, uh, regarding this system this system is uh, uh, basically a small and medium size of the shop so you can uh, uh, set up accordingly so uh, and then you can be able to take the print accordingly so thank you very much for for the time bye